So as you join me down on my new venue for the rest of the year, uh, up in the Nen Valley, I thought it was time that I talk about something that I've been using ever since I really stepped foot on here. Now, I'm only a few sessions deep, but I have been blessed to catch uh, some of the cork and fish already in here. Um, nothing big, um, however, uh, the other week I caught an absolute stunning uh, upper 20 and it's really whetted the appetite. Now, some of the lads I know on you here, uh, you know, it's like anyway, you like to tap people up for information and, and anyone that says they like to go in blind, to me is just crazy, you know, in anything in life, why not sort of glean them a bit of information? Now, the venue itself, sort of 15 acres, and not a load of fish, um, some old ones, but it is weedy and the fish seem to love to sit in that weed away from the clear spots. And for me, it was, you know, I fished weedy venues before, but the fish seem to get into the clear spots. Whereas here, they seem to sort of ghost over that weedy areas and keep themselves to themselves. So for me, I had to step my game up and that game that needed to be changed was my chod game. So I've been using now sort of the extra safe chod leaders um, are <laughs> sort of, I can't really describe just how heavy our lead core is. Uh, and the way that I've been using these is sort of as long as possible, a long running one, but it's not running, it's a fixed system. So as you can see here, you've got what I, you know, a sort of carrier, it's got two beads either side and that swivel sits in the middle. So it's a super safe system because those beads can only ever come out of the way and as you can see here, uh, that bead will only ever just fly off the top of that loop. I'm not going to pull it off because I need to show you the system. So how does it work? The idea being is I know that that weed is sort of 18 to two foot depth. So what I do is simply pull that carriage all the way up to the top of the, the leader. So take off the bead, pull down the carrier if you like, line it all back up. And then what allows me to do is push that bead back over the top back underneath and what you've got there is a sort of fixed depth chod now i know full well that, that lead is going to plunge no deeper than sort of that 18 inches into the into the sort of weed which allows me to present that piece of lead core over the top but why now for me the thing that concerns me the most about chods is how much sort of rope those fish have got um, and not always to hang themselves. What they can do on those long running chods and on those chod systems where there's no sort of direct tension to the line um, is they can get away with it. Now I'm using super sharp uh, our chod hooks. I've sharpened sort of with a few glances of, of, a, of a sharpening tool. But to me, what this system allows is for that resistance to be massively increased because you're sort of trapping it between those two beads. As the fish picks up, it's now directly in contact with that lead core. And if it goes left or right, it's sort of, it's on that bead system. It can't travel up the line away from the lead or it can't travel down towards the lead. It's now stuck and it's got to pick up that super heavy length of lead core. So what I've allowed myself to do is it says, increase the depth here from the bottom of the carrier down to the lead. So I know it's gonna plunge it into the way. But what that's allowed me to do as well is present way above the top of the weed so it settles down onto the weed system but when it gets that fish that take it's in direct contact with the leg core the resistance is directly onto the fish um, and as you can say regards the safety aspect if you do have any offs crack offs there are some pike in it that do cause some issues on occasion as i said i will do it now that bead simply like zero zero resistance pops off the end and that to me is what makes it that extra safe system. You know, you can pop it back on, thread it down. So for me, the confidence level in my chod fishing has gone right up using these leaders. It allows me to have a heavy system, but also the fact that because it's trapped between those two beads, as soon as that fish picks up, it's into direct contact. It can't slide away. It can't move up or down the link. Uh, and you know, already it's proven itself to me. So if you're looking for a system to give you ultimate confidence in your chods, then the extra safe system really for me is the one to go for.